Welcome to episode 9 of Very Spatial TV, online mapping service providers. This week on Very Spatial TV, we're bringing you a little bit more information following up on our A Very Spatial Podcast, episode 85, where we were talking about server-oriented um, GIS and mapping. So this week, we're going to bring you just a quick overview of the service providers out there that directly offer map server or geo server web hosting. Now, you may be wondering, do I have to have one of these? No. If you feel like you're technically savvy enough familiar enough with these open source projects or even uh, a proprietary project, you can of course find uh, the appropriate web space for you. Uh, usually you can find people who have Postgre or MySQL already up and running. Uh, some web hosting providers offer SQL Server. I'm sure there's even some out there that offer Oracle. So if you want to go out and find your own that allows you to uh, have the capabilities to do these things with your own installations, there are plenty out there. But what we're focusing on today are people who are specifically hosting pre-built solutions where you don't have to worry about setting up map server, geo server. You just go in there, bring your data with you, set everything up, and you're off and running. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do it uh, in two phases. The first one, we're going to look at map server because that's really where most of the existing options lie. And then we'll look at those for geo server, and then we'll finish out with a couple that uh, actually offer both options. Now, GISHosting.net provides uh, specialized hosting and services for the GIS industry. Now, they focus on using Map Server and PHP slash MapScript and PostGIS. So, already you're dealing with spatial data uh, in terms of your storage uh, potential, and you have access to Map Server. You can head over to their website, GISHosting.net, to find out more uh, and see a few of their uh, demo sites and to look at the pricing options which start at just $20 a month. Next up is Serve Map Hosting and they focus on map server GIS hosting. Now this is basically a no frill site so not a lot of information available directly through the site so you'll have to contact them to find out details of what they actually offer. Now the next one is hostgis.com. They offer again map server hosting and they offer a couple of different levels so um, you can look at shared hosting, which they refer to as assisted hosting, and dedicated servers. So you can have that uh, scalability where you can start with a shared server at lower price. And as you uh, increase your traffic, you can always bump it up to a dedicated server. HTMLX.com, again, offers map server functionality. They also have a lower end version business hosting that doesn't include map server or uh, Postgre. But their higher versions, the basic GIS hosting and ultra GIS hosting, um, seem to offer significant bandwidth and uh, a good amount of storage space, though uh, if you're dealing with larger raster data sets, um, it might be limiting with Ultra GIS hosting uh, topping out at 700 megabytes. Or if you're in uh, Europe and Germany, if you're interested in, in serving out some GIS, there's webgis.de. Again, focusing on map servers potential, but it shows that it's not just US centric or uh, English speaking world uh, centric web hosting out there for the GIS community. And that finally brings us to the one that spreads between both GeoServer and MapServer, uh, and that is Microresources, home of Spatial Galaxy, and of course, the hosting provider for uh, QGIS or Quantum GIS. Over at Microresources, they, as I suggested, they offer both MapServer and GeoServer, and uh, they also offer PostgreSQL and MySQL um, with spatial access. It offers a significant uh, storage capacity of 5 gigabytes and also a, a very significant uh, bandwidth capacity of 100 gigabytes per month. So uh, again, you have more, more than one option here, Map Server and GeoServer. Uh, it has lots of different options in terms of databases uh, and spatial databases. Offers your different uh, CMSs and of course supports an existing community. Now these are just a few of the many web hosting packages that are out there. These are ones that I found that were specific to uh, geospatial or web mapping technologies. But do keep in mind, as I mentioned in the beginning, that even though most web hosting packages do not come with the software pre-installed, if you have the time, energy, and know-how, you can of course 
install it onto the services yourself. Might save you a little bit of money in, ho in monthly hosting packages, but do keep in mind things such as bandwidth, storage space, and extensibility as you move into the future so that you can move from a shared hosting to a dedicated server if necessary. That's it for episode nine. Be sure to check back with us next time as Frank reveals his genographic project results in episode 10. Mm -hmm.